Hmm? Did you already meet all your friends? Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Yeah, when I first met you, I remembered the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, I, I never saw that guy again. Mm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. Um, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you carsick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? My, what a well-mannered young man. We are most obliged to your kindness. But there is no need to show such consideration. We are here to serve you. Or, is there something on your mind that led you here subconsciously? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was the unconscious wish shared by people's minds. 
to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence, much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all, the power to enter the TV, the real puppet master, fill both worlds with fog. The world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. You must know by now. Isn't that why you came? Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? The fog has lifted, and you still are not content? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami, Amino Segiri, 
Ruler of the Fog is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to what I had not imagined. You defeated the two Sigiri and the one fragment born from me. And now here you stand, face to face with me. I can no longer ignore this situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Are you all right? Who was that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Oh, okay. The others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really going to close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this, sure, this time. All right. Then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. I'm sure we'll be all right if we work together. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced, and it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It is kinda sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives. There were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right. All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! See him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic, it makes my skin crawl. 
Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this. Should we show him who's boss? All right. Ready or not, here we come! It's quite tenacious! Go for it!
Oh, be careful. Light's no good on this one. <laughs> Soda. That's my cue. Leave it to me. Here goes. Enemy down. Let's go, partner. Good answer. Out of our way. Let's go. Enemy defeated. Don't stop now, Natsukun. Let the winds blow! Be careful. There's an enemy immune to light. Let's go! I couldn't defeat it! Counting on you! It's not going down! Yosuke Senpai, your defense is down! Chia Senpai? Awesome, Chia Senpai! Yeah. Yikes, it's tough! There's an enemy immune to light. You hit the enemy's weakness. Go, oh, Senpai! You rock! You can win this, but not by using ice. One enemy to go. Keep it up.
to darkness. Let's go! Way to go! It's a trick! Enemy down! That's my cue! Leave it to me! Mm, are you getting up to speed now, yusuke -san? It's weak to darkness! Go on, defeat it! Let's go, partner! Okay! Places, everyone! And action! You guys better keep up! Go! Beat him up! Could you 
There's an enemy immune to light. Four of them. You need to thin Come them out. On. Take this! No way! It's not working! Good move, now, Tokun. You're on a roll. Darkness. 
Let's go! Thank <laughs> you. 